Hey everybody, Gears here. Yesterday I only had my camera phone on me and I got a couple shots of what I did. Basically it was just covering up this rear quarter here to redo the stripes and uh, let me see if I can integrate that footage now. It's only 30 or 40 seconds. And on this side over here I'm going to do that door as well, even that out. The camera feature keeps killing the phone. It reboots every few seconds. Hopefully that won't be too distracting. So I'm going to keep papering up for a while. See you in a little bit. And here we are baselined again. I did a really quick second color there. Just held some newspaper to mask it off. And then over here, I've already gone through two cans of uh, the tester's paint. This is model spray paint, so it's like $5 for a couple ounces. So I am probably going to skip doing up here, but I got a couple other colors I might try in this area, and I guess I'll leave that door the way it is and just do little bits every now and then. There's a second area where I did just a slight bit of masking off. Oh, yeah. I still got to do this, so I'll do that now. Much, much better now. Through on this little dark corner here. I'm pretty much done for the day. There's no way I can put any red down on this. It's going to be wet for hours. So it's better to wait a little while. I'll hit some more of this tomorrow afternoon. I just wish there was some way that I could save some of all the masking that I did in this newspaper. But I guess not. I do really like this color. This is... Uh, Model Masters flat gray, I think, or let me check here. And I switched to these little tan cans here, it's like five, six dollars, so I try not to use too much of it. It's camouflage gray up on top there. And then this is Navy Aggressor right there in the corner. So let's untape this and see what it looks like. So today's plan is to put the red stripes back on here. It's going to be a little different, and one of the things I was hoping was that I could get this red on here. I went to Home Depot yesterday, and they didn't have any. This is Colonial Red, I think, from Rust-Oleum. So what I wound up with now is four different reds. Two on the left here are the same one, Sunrise Red. we got some Burgundy over there. And then uh, dark red and missile red. Missile red is much more orange, so I'm probably not going to be using that. And one of these cans, there's probably about a quarter or an eighth in that one. So I might just try that first since I've got the most of that. And the burgundy is definitely looking a little too purple now to me. We'll see how this goes. i got a little bit of taping to do, and I think the only thing I'm going to do is the stripes here. So previously, I had the line coming up here and angling off. Now I'm going to bring it all the way to the door, straight over, then angle up, and then bring the two stripes down the side. I don't know if there's any other red I want to put on here right now. I'm thinking about redoing this red, but I don't know, masking off the, uh, the side view mirrors is definitely a lot. But potentially I could put a little bit on the front there. We'll see how I feel. My back's a little sketchy right now because I slept on a couch. So uh, let's see how this goes. I'll see you in a few. So here it is. I'm running low on tape so I'm hoping I can get away with some minimal masking. These back stripes here are far longer than I want but that shape really has to go up there by the door. So uh, we'll see how this goes. And then down there on the bottom, I'll be doing alternating red stripes. I had originally thought I wanted to do black, but red is the way to go. So I haven't done the other side yet. Let's take a look at how this goes. Now, the burgundy was, in fact, too purple. The dark red was wrong. Sunrise red, it's a little bright, a little orange, but 
I'm going with it. I'm going to have to leave the paint on here for a while and give it a second coat. So I'm going to start taping up the other side. The stuff did go on thick, unfortunately, and that started causing a few issues. Like, uh, I can't see what's going on here with the camera. Too bright out. But there should be some fisheye going on in there, and there's a few drips in other places. There's a little more fisheye. But, uh, par for the course. I'm going to start taping up the other side. As I started painting, I was thinking this side of the masking went a little too easy, and it turns out I forgot the diagonal stripe right there. So, uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix that quite yet. We'll see. I have just enough paint to do a second coat on this side. I've just sprayed it now. And then over on this side, this just got its second coat a few minutes ago. I managed to lighten up some of the fisheye that was going on. And down there, you can see some of the panel lines that were there before, and I think that kind of adds to it it's a little bit of pre shading. So I'm going to wait a little while, hopefully. I'll have some patience. And, uh,. I'll start pulling this off and see if I can actually repair down here. If I've got a lot of patience. Well, no, that's another. I still got a couple more masking jobs to do on the whole car. I want to put some reflect down on the uh, yellow at least. And what else is there to do? I don't know. Overall, there might not be too much more. I'll have to redo the front stripes in this same in this same red here. Other than that, I think that's it for the moment. There we go. These stripes are definitely a little too long. I don't know. They feel like they should be like half the length, a little shorter, but I want to bring them all the way out to the end. Down here, the tape really pulled up the yellow pretty good in some spots. That works. That's fine. So all of that will eventually get some reflect. Actually, all the yellow will get some reflect eventually. And right before I started to pull this off, I figured, well, if I'm going to fix this, now is the time to fix it. So here we go. Did I get a shot of this side yet? I'm not sure. Uh, let's get a little closer here. And some focus. So the tape didn't pull up as much on this side as it did on the other for whatever reason. I'm glad I left that yellow bar going across the top there, but I might need something else to help differentiate it from the rest of the area. This red is almost really similar to that stripe. I may not have to repaint those. But it's definitely looking plain. Once this gets weathered, probably next week, it's definitely going to bring a lot to it. These stripes are definitely too long, and uh, but they work, and they're good enough. That gap is a little too large in there for me. I was hoping to keep everything relatively symmetrical, but these stripes aren't exactly uh, symmetrical to themselves either. So I did do pretty good on the spacing down there. I had some two-inch tape and laid down one, measured out the piece next to it, and then moved that much further down and applied it. I don't know that there's too much further to do overall on the body painting. Definitely have to work on the front. Definitely have to work on the But the sides and the top are pretty much done. So, the camera card is full. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.